Oh, look at me stargazing again when I should be out doing things. <laughs> Perhaps I should have been an astronomer instead. Alright, let's go find that manor, shall we? If I remember correctly... Let me make sure I've got... The right sword on, just in case. If I remember correctly, I've actually seen that manor before. That might- that must have been the one where there was a guard outside being rather prickly about my approach. Oh, hello, Fox. Good evening. Here's the guard tower. The trick will be getting there and actually taking the right road. Because I believe... I believe there's a split in the road down here somewhere. And the trick will be going in the right direction. I think the right direction is northward, roughly. Um... Should be. So I think it goes up and then it crosses over the river somewhere up by a statue. If not, then I'm about to head into Skyrim on accident. Well, that would be fun, wouldn't it? I mean, I am headed there eventually anyway. I do need to get underway soon. The expedition in Sarthal is probably progressing well beyond what I, uh, what I anticipated it doing, being, whatever. Ah yes, Sarthal, the first settlement of the Nords in Skyrim, I believe. I've read some history books and can't remember much <laughs> of what I've read. Oh well. It's a nice night. It's very bright with all the stars shining. Um, nope, not that way. Let's see here. I think, I think it is up here somewhere. Good evening, Fox. Traveling at night is a bad idea. I will take your brandy, sir. Ah, there's a little path over here. And a camp! Ah, this will be useful if I need to set up a tent later. Hmm. Everything here looks fresh. Take your food. I might actually be able to cook something with it. Later on, if I come back. Ale. Might as well. Okay. Distractions aside. Back to business. Oh, a treasure map. Well, that's interesting. I wonder where that leads. Let's see. Well... That looks like the Sentinel statue. Road north, and the X is just on the cliff below it. Which means that if I ever see that statue again, I will be able to... find it. Although I wonder if... Uh, 
was somewhere down here. Anything else suspicious? Doesn't appear to be. No? Huh. Alright, well. Not very good bandits then. All they had was food, although I would love to crack open some of these cart- uh, these, um, these crates- carts. Well. <laughs> ah yes, the sleepless nights do get to me sometimes. Oh well, nothing I'm not used to, really. Hiking around in frozen tund- well, okay, the hiking around in frozen tundra part, that one, yeah. yeah. That, that part is a bit unusual, but I deal with it. As long as you keep moving, keep the body temperature going. Being rather a seasoned destruction mage does tend to help as well. Right. It was in this direction, I believe. Right? Well, we'll find out. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. I don't want to be... I don't really want to come at the house from... or the manor rather from uh, any normal angle. Wait, I thought it was just down here. I suppose I was wrong. Alright. I don't want to come at the house from any normal angle, given the guard outside. It was rather... Uh, he seemed rather quick on the draw. Which means he's probably not one for uh, negotiation. So... Ah, there it is. All right, I'm going to try to sneak up, see if there's a back door over here somewhere. Out. Ah, uh, yes, rock hopping. Come on. These boots are not made for this, but they'll suffice. All right, let's uh, let's see here. All right, there's the path. There's the manor, which means. That the man, the guard, I wonder if he's even still awake. Oh yes, there he is, I see him. Okay, looks like there could be... Ah, no back door. No cellar. Not one that can be accessed from the outside, anyway. Okay, well... All right, nothing for it. Gotta go in from the front. Where is he? There he is. Time to die. Well, so much for stealth. Hello. All right. Set your shield on fire, You'll never sir. Leave here alive. I'm not a skill. The feeble glow. Yes, well. <sighs> By training, I'm not a swordsman. No, by training, I'm a mage. Which is a bit of a hassle. When your spells require you to draw things. Such as runes. There is a way of casting them verbally, but...
Okay. Let's see. Doesn't really look like... There's anything... I wonder what this is. Thief of virtue. How about now? I'm not really a thief. Unless you, <laughs> unless you count dungeon crawling as thievery. Cavern delving. Anything? Anything incriminating? Besides the guard at the door? I would like to get through here without... Oh, somebody stood up. I heard that. I would like to get through here without killing anybody else. Somebody's moving around upstairs. This is going to be fun. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. <sighs> All right. What could that be? Ah! Thought you could get Damn away. It. Huh? Ah! Ah! That one actually stung a bit. Oh, good. I'm done. I'm done. Well. The other thing about heavy armor is that it's not very stealthy. These boots are rather clunky. The waters of Obli Wild Elves, Waters of Oblivion. I wonder what this is. Huh. Is this poetry? On Oblivion. Somebody has been studying Daedra, I believe. Yes, it looks like it. Huh. Sovngarde, a re-examination. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. Book of the Dragonborn. Interesting. The Dowry. The Great War. Which I believe I've read. Um. Alright. Let's see what else is in here. Anything? No. Strong box. Alright, well. Not very secure strong box. Nothing in there. I need to be awake, I need to be alert. Look at this. A letter from Simon Gautier, ringleader Drazar. I understand your concern, but I assure you the payment was sent months ago as agreed upon. However, as I was most pleased with the light-handed work of you and your crew and the orc received, very expeditious transport, forgive the vagueness of the phrase, but yeah. Very expeditious, Expedient transport as requested. I will send the payment to make up for the unfortunate and inconvenient error in the transit of funds. So he actually does know where the orc is, then. Forgive the vague turn of phrase, but you must understand that in matters such as these, discretion is required. If I am to preserve my rank within County Bruma and avoid any legal conflicts, yada yada yada. Well. That means he knows where Droom Rags... Do doom? Doomrag? Doomrag. Flight from the Thelmore. Huh. No. No, I would rather not take that one. Okay. Well, Simon Gautier, I do believe I have your number. 
and Doomrag will be um, very interested to see that letter. Huh. Rather than I have your number, I have your letter. Funny how that works. Okay, well, not the most stealthy um, breaking and entering, I suppose, ever, but I'm not exactly a thief or an assassin or something like that. I'm a mage. <laughs> I'm an archaeologist. My sneaking skill extends to dungeons and ruins and that's about it. Besides, ruins aren't exactly very stealthy. You put them down and then something steps on them and they explode, thus alerting everybody to your presence. Which is why I wear such armor as this. Now where was that little place that the bandits had set up. I would like to turn that into my camp for the evening. I'm rather close to Bruma, but... Ah, there they are. I'm rather close to Bruma, but I'd rather not spend more coin on an inn if I can help it. I'm going to need, perhaps, all of the coal- all of the uh, Finances! Finances. Where's a good spot for a tent? Let's see. Um... No? That looks a bit better. I actually quite like this. And then if anybody comes into camp, they'll have, um, they'll have to jump over the log to get to me. Clear night. Cold night. Beautiful night. I wonder if there are... I've heard rumors that there are auroras in Skyrim. It will be very interesting to see if, um... I might be lucky enough to witness one. I don't really know how long I'll be in Skyrim. That fire feels very nice right about now. Whew. Okay. Dinner time. And tomorrow we will go tell Doomrag of his wife's fate. <laughs>